Violent X versus Narsal. This is going to be a really fun what? match to watch. Five, four, three, two, one. Fight Robots fight. I think this is the most jacked I have ever seen this floor. Yeah. This floor does not look right. Narsal showing its speed, trying to make sure that, oh, wow, Silent X has decided to go with that vertical spinner on this one. They're trying a completely different strategy than what we saw the last time they went up against a horizontal. Yeah. Kyle, this is a much more aggressive uh, yeah. strategy Face here from first James Yeah, right into that weapon. Not what we were expecting to see. But this is exactly what Jameson was planning with this bot. They wanted to make sure it had a little bit more ballast. They wanted to make sure it stayed down to the ground a little bit more. That is a helpful little uh, assist there from Narsal. Yeah, Narsal came in to help. That means Silent X still has another assist from, Br uh, from Bart. Now, here's the thing that I absolutely love about Silent X. It looks like it's wheels, but it's actually a shuffler. We are seeing incredible mobility from the shuffler. Yeah. And from what Jameson was telling us before the tournament today, future plans for this robot are going to make it go even faster. You're not even going to really be able to tell the difference between this and a, a wheeled robot in future versions. One of the big differences I'm seeing between Silent X and Silent Spring is that Silent X is staying really like anchored to the floor, and I think it's that extra pound and a half. And that extra pound and a half is certainly helping, and apparently that's helping the spin up time too, because one of the big problems with Silent Spring is that if it spins up to full speed super fast, it actually takes itself up off the floor. Wow. So that extra pound and a half is able to keep the bot pretty well grounded and allow it to go to its full spin up way faster, way more efficiently without launching the bot all over the box. Now, for the last 60 seconds, Silent X has been on its head, which is really not where you want to be when you're uh, a vertical spinner. No. I'm sure that uh, Jameson Go would love to uh, somehow self-right and get over onto the other side. But we're seeing that uh, Silent X in this walker configuration is fully invertible, which is really interesting. Yeah, it's super smart having a fully invertible shuffle bot. As we're coming down to the last 60 seconds, the big question is, can one of these uh, robots disable its opponent's weapon? Yeah, both because these Because I think are that the drive is going to go for another 60 seconds easily, Kyle. Yeah. Narsal really having a hard time controlling this match, even when uh, its opponent is upside down. Narsal definitely getting the bigger hits when it's able to get them. Kyle, I think that Silent X's weapon is down. But we are seeing just aggression and control from uh, from Silent X. Which is a slower robot with this shuffle, which is really impressive. 15 seconds left. All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's the match. Wow. wow. That was super destructive. Stressful. All right, Kyle. My wish at the start of the day was that I was going to see three minutes of Silent X's locomotion, and I saw it, and I'm so happy about yeah, that. Yeah, and we got to see it basically act as a control bot for the latter half of that match, which I wasn't expecting would be a thing. That was really cool. It this gets is, a lot of traction. This is the most effective shuffler bot I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah, really well done. All right, really let's well kick done. it over to the judges. Please. I'd love to get their thoughts on this really, really interesting match. Ricky, do you want to start us off? Well, I, before I start, I'd love to get confirmation. It did not look like uh, Silent X's weapon was spinning there for the second half of the match, yep. but it was a little hard to make out on stream screen on the stream. Could you confirm that for me? Yeah, for Silent tonight? X lost its weapon about halfway through the match. Yes. Yeah. So, I uh, I think that the aggression was. Uh, um, uh, Narsal, is it how I say that one? Narsal, uh, it was yep. firmly with them. Uh, the damage definitely was with them. Uh, Silent X certainly had the control, but uh, I, I gotta go with Narsal. All right, but we have one totally. vote for Narsal. How about you, Courtney? I'm gonna go with Silent X. They Whoa. continued to have control throughout the entire time. Um, Narsal just seemed kind of like they were struggling a little bit, and mm -hmm. Silent X did not back down. They, you know, have really strong control over the fight. This is going to be a split judge's decision, and Zach is about to send one incredibly talented builder home. Zach, who is it going to be? Well, when you get this late in the bracket, there's pretty much no way to avoid that. Uh, I would say 
I have to agree that uh, it was a lot of back and forth. It was very heavy control on Silent X's side, but he never really did any damage, really at all. He took a lot of blows and he didn't move much, but he also didn't move very quickly. And he didn't really deal anything out. So I have to go with Narsal on this one. Wow. In the right. control game, but he won everything else. All right, a split judge's decision in Narsal's favor. Thank yeah. you very much, judges. Kyle, what do you think? I don't necessarily agree with that decision myself, but I'm not one of the judges in this competition, thankfully. I don't want that responsibility, and uh, I trust their judgment 